I used to be a cabin crew, and I also I, I've worked before as a waitress. There was a lot of sexual harassment because of the kind of clothes we are wearing. So somebody can come and just punk you, but no, you can't complain. Why? Because that's not your job. One day I just woke up, resigned, and I said, because I had enough training as a fashion and designer, like a tailor, I got tired with that job and told them, you know what, it's enough. Just like that, Cecilia Awoko quit her 9 to 5 job and opened this designer shop in Jeroko Market in Nairobi, Kenya. In three years, she expanded into two shops and hired a couple people to support her business. I paid a visit to her shop and decided to become a customer myself. You like this because it's your outfit, you're the one who's going to wear it. I like So you clothes. tell me. With the kind of service she offers, a customer can pick the fabrics, learn about the culture. African prints came from Western Africa. But with Nigerians and Ghanaians, they like bright colors. But you can still get this one's African prints because they started with something like this. Just give up. Communicate with her on the design, get measurements, fitting, and adjustment in a week. Awoko says her experience as a mom inspired her to create a mother-daughter matching outfits. She's my model because she was a tiny Miss Kenya 2016. So she's really good with photos. And yeah, she, sometimes she helped me to do the finishing. And then when we are done, we are, we are our own models. We market our thing by ourselves. Like I don't hire models to wear my brand. We are our own brand. Yeah, so she really helped me a lot because you realize most of the clients they'll order outfits because of her, not because of me. Because even now, if you see we are matching, you just know, wow, you guys look good. Can I get the same outfit? I like modeling for my mom. Especially she calls me a lot because I really give her a lot of clients. My favorite part is putting the buttons, putting the pockets, and designing it. Just like many entrepreneurs, Cecilia Awarko has gone through many adversities in the effort to run her own company. And making it here in Kenya, it's very hard. You have taxes to pay, you have workers to pay, and there's challenges like sometimes a client pays for the deposit, and then when they come and do the fitting and they don't like that, they don't like that dress, you know, they won't pay you the balance. And maybe that balance is the profit you're going to get. Will you tell that to your workers? So most of the time during end month, I break down. It's not like now I'm comfortable, no. It happens when you're an entrepreneur and you are like, because me, I'm a self proprietor. So it, it, it's, it's sad that you don't get enough support from, because if, if the day I wanted to have my license, you know, you have to break your way in. Yeah. It's a, and then people like most of us, you can't get a loan. It's not easy to get a loan to grow your brand. So it's your profit. You have from your profit, have to buy machines. It's not like you can go to a bank and get a, a loan from them. So most of the times, wow, pray for us. It's hard. It's hard. Her inspiration, though, has been able to work on her passion, gain financial freedom, promote African identity, along with a limited growth potential things she could never get from her previous jobs. It was a risk, because if that did happen, I don't think I could have resigned where I was working. So yes, and I, I'm just grateful that I'm doing what I like. I'm making people smile. So I started this brand because of that. Trust me, I won't disappoint you. For VOA News, I'm Abby Sun from Nairobi, Kenya.